Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, or welcome back to you, my friends. If you've just been joining us on our previous live stream discussing the transfer window, this is, of course, the away day guide. Whether you've seen it before or not, I'll run through what we do. We try and put together a guide for you to take with you on the road. And, of course, this week, the road will take us to Accra and Stanley. Who are they? Exactly. Thank you very much. I will, I will do that throughout the course of this evening. Uh, but we go from... Uh, previous games to previous players. We play a little quiz or, or I try and get as many players as I can that have played for Ipswich uh, and Accra and Stanley. If you know any of any, put them in the chat. We discussed the ground, the Wham Stadium. Uh, we have got pub, parking, train. We'll discuss their owner a little bit, who is on the platform tomorrow. If you are a Discord member, which means you are a YouTube uh, member or a fifth standard, then of course you can uh, submit a question through the Discord. Uh, information is on there. And then we'll add to our Talking Town jukebox. We will add uh, a song or two that f f just just for you to take it on the road. Don't forget, you can get this um, on audio platforms. Subscribe to us if you're brand new here. And let's get on with the action. Queen of Hearts, Amy Down. Bang, fucking on. She's back, <laughs> Amy Downs, refreshed and ready from her holiday. How are you? I'm all good, thank you. I'm uh, yeah, I'm really, 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 really excited about Saturday. I can't wait. I've been planning, got the day planned up until dinner, and then I think it's just going to be right <laughs> now. Let's just get the wine out and get on with the evening. <laughs> Absolutely, um, yes. Get the wine out. Get on with the evening, uh, and discuss another away day. And what can you say about this away day, really? Because well, it's, a sh it's you, you. You're probably best to tell me, tell the people at home how how best to describe this away day because you're going. You go every year. It seems. Tell me about <laughs> it. Well, I, I I can't remember which show it was on, but I know I swore to you and everybody watching that I would not be going to Accrington. I think I said it after the game last season and I, I'm not doing it again. I'm done. It's a terrible, terrible place to go. It's the ground, although it was fun the first time we went, it's just awful and I've had enough and I will not put myself through it again. And then the fixture list came out and it's the first Northern away day. So of course I'm going, of course I'm putting myself myself through it again um it will be my fourth visit we've lost every time I think the only time we've won there was during the um I don't know if it was actually during the pandemic but it was certainly one of the games that was behind closed doors um as it was back then um so we have a terrible record there I've seen some awful games there and it's just uh, and and every time I've been there it's been raining <laughs> which it is due to do, do again on Saturday. Um, and for those who don't know, it's a it's an open-ended terrace for the vast majority of away fans. So um, I think my big white puffer might be making an appearance on oh, Saturday. because the <laughs> famous big white puffer. Um, if you do see Amy in her big white puffer, do make sure you get a picture and send it to us for the Away Day Guide Journal, which of course we haven't mentioned yet. It's only our, what, our second or third Away Day, but we do want your pictures from Away Days, be that of the of a pub, a restaurant, uh, the ground, the train, the parking, whatever it is you find on your Away Day you think we can really use on these Away Day guys. Hopefully, I say it with all sincerity, we'll never have to talk about Akron and Stanley again after this year, but in the in, in the event that we we have to, they are helpful. So do get those pictures and and, and get them get them sent to us. We want that, don't we, Amy? Oh, absolutely. I love it. I love hearing everybody's stories from when you've been to the places before, when, you know, if it's your first time there, what you're planning on doing and how excited you are. And I do love seeing pictures, even if you just tag us on Twitter or something, it's, it'd be really mm -hmm. nice to see it. And wouldn't it be lovely to have a bit of an away day scrapbook put together at the end of the season that we can share with everybody? I think that would be very nice. It really would be. It really would be. I'm just looking at the weather for Saturday for Akron. And I'll put it on the screen. It's 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 not the worst thing in the world. Like so, <laughs> look, it basically starts raining well, you've got when we're going to be in the ground. At least it's sunny. Well, you've got well. a thirty-eight percent chance of rain at two o'clock, forty-six percent at three, and then it goes fifty-two at four, fifty-seven at five, and then sixty-two percent at six o'clock. So you're in the you're in the low. 50s to high you might 40s. get away with it. Um, 
you might get away with it you never know it's either going to be a case of we don't care we're enjoying it and it's it'll be part of the day that makes it fun that we that we got to celebrate in the rain or it's going to be what makes it even shitter basically it's going to be <laughs> which it was the uh, last year for a definite <laughs> the rain made it so much worse <laughs> well i think that was nearly this time last year as well it was october the, well, the rain does make it, you know, somewhat worse in, in anything that we do. But one thing it can't make worse, which surely has to be uh, the, the cup game just gone. Northampton at home, 6-0 hammering of them. Uh, what what were your thoughts, first of all, first of all as, a, as, a, as a long-suffering fan of this town who have taken cups n- never quite, uh, you know, so seriously in recent years? Yeah, I think you and I are on similar... Well, I and I know I've made it quite clear that I'm I'm just not bothered about cups. I'd rather we were focusing on the league, but I do think that that has been under managers that haven't I just haven't believed could get us anywhere in the cup um, since Mick McCarthy. I think that's when I just stopped caring about the cups, um, as did he. <laughs> um, but for me, it's I've just never been that bothered. I have said a few times if we're going to be in Wembley, I'd rather it was for the playoffs or something that actually matters um but i do completely agree with the winning breeds winning and Mm -hmm. the momentum that we can build from it and this year what we have is a b team as it were we have our fringe players this is their chance to get some football in so that if they are called on and need to become regular players they're ready to go and i just i think we have a we have a squad strong enough to as proven and even made even bigger today um, that mm. to if we do get injuries through the cup we can cope with it yeah and and actually we're getting more benefit out of it whereas when we had a small squad it didn't feel it felt too risky um, I, I'm I'm pretty sure David McGoldrick had a habit of getting injured in cup games and then it was like we were screwed mm. for the league so that was was my feeling on it but of course I'm going to enjoy it if we if we get something out of it this year and I believe we will and and winning by so many goals particularly with Ladapo scoring um nice to see him getting off the off the mark and hopefully that will start to build some confidence now because he's uh I quite liked him actually I really enjoyed him in that 3-0 win over MK Dons I thought he was hard working he was all over the place he was creating chances for harness mm. and things like that so I think he's getting a bit of a rough deal so hopefully after Tuesday he might start to sort of build on his tally <laughs> well this is it and um i'm just going to quickly say we're obviously going to add some songs to the talking town jukebox at the end of the show i'm going to pick up four of our viewers that i can see in the live chat i want song suggestions from you that will go into the jukebox they are ad croucher mark stewart who is going to his first uh trip to the wham stadium he can't wait i believe believe me from what i've heard mark <laughs> Don't you'll, you'll soon regret thinking about going. <laughs> it is Akron. exciting going for the first time. I remember it. The first time I went was when we played them in the cup. I think it was 2019. We'll talk about that yeah, in a bit, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, I was really looking forward to it. New grounds. I discovered last season how easy it is for me to get there from where I am because I can go directly from the train station in my house. And it has all the makings of being a really fun <laughs> League One away trip. But on the way home, I promise you, you will tell yourself you are never going again. <laughs> and then we'll be here next year. <laughs> the same way you told yourself every Sunday lunchtime, I'm never drinking again. And we always, yeah. always found ourselves... The following weekend, eight Jaeger bombs deep, thinking, "Oh my god, that is perfect." Acting to the way long. is like <laughs> it's like your Saturday, a Sunday morning hangover. <laughs> yep, your throat's hoarse as they come because you smoked twenty months old, and you're thinking, "Never doing that again." <laughs> following weekend, got a fag, got you got a cigarette. Can I borrow it? Can I borrow it? Uh, twosies, twosies, twosies. <laughs> um, God, don't pre-COVID. Those are the days. Those are the days. Amy. Nowadays, you'd go. <laughs> I'm all right, Dave. Um, and the other two as long people. As you use your mask. <laughs> the other two people, Ant Steele and Colin Plum. So I want songs from Mark Stewart, Ant Steele, Colin Plum, and AD Croucher to add to the jukebox. Uh, we're discussing Northampton. Obviously, this was the team that lined up. Who, if anybody, do we glasses. think is going to be starting Saturday? Haladki, Vincent Young, Keo Burgess, Edwards, Ball, Humphreys, Lee, Luco, and Harness and Jackson. Obviously, Luco went off injured. 
Chaplin uh, didn't make the bench in the end through a knock. So who? how many of these do you think actually will play Saturday? I can pick out probably one, two, possibly three. How about yourself? Yeah, I was thinking that. Um, Harness would be straight on for me. Yep, yep. Uh, Edwards, potentially. Mm, depending on the severity to Chaplin and Luco, yeah, potentially. Um, I was thinking Burgess, Mid Harness, uh, and and possibly Lee. That was my that was yeah. my that was my three. That was my three, but and not many. Morsey on the bench as well. Yeah, of course, captain, uh, leading Alec by Nixon example, well, setting actually, the but... standard, setting the standards. But so so not many, I guess. Certainly less than the... half the team, isn't it? So you know. Yeah putting them on the pitch isn't risking Saturday which is really which is a nice feeling yeah absolutely because but it's that quality and depth we're going to need you need five subs from the bench yeah. and with this this is a place as I said on yesterday's show it's a haunting ground not because it's scary but because the ghosts of which it's past are, 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 have been laid there and, and, and are waiting Paul Lambert's side crashing and burning and never recovering and, and yeah. it goes on talk to us about the previous games Oh, goodness. It doesn't make for nice reading. It really doesn't. Let me bring it up. So we've got um, the January 2019 was the FA Cup game where we went there during uh, that was the season when we got relegated. At the time when we played them, we were 10 points away from safety. So it really was the start of everything going to shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Billy Key scored the winner. And I remember, I'll never forget it. I think we were on Sky. I've got a brilliant picture, which I've just emailed you, actually, of me talking with my mate. And it just, you could see in our faces how pissed off we were. We were just done with everything relating to football. But as the players came off the pitch, it was the first time I'd been in amongst real anger from Ipswich fans. And it really got me, like, it really got me. It really upset me. Because um, that's the one where I, like, I proper welled up and I was really trying to stop myself from crying. And then a couple of weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. So I was like, oh, it's the hormones. It's the hormones. It wasn't my fault. Um, but it was really heartbreaking seeing us hitting our lowest point like that. It was really sad. Well, what we thought was our lowest point until we then got relegated. Then mm -hmm. later that year, obviously, was the first League One game game against them um I think first possibly first league game overall I think that was I think that was the first time I we think played it was them. yeah I think it was um and that was under Lambert we'd had we made a load of he made a load of changes to the team because we just had an international uh break which he always did um and then that that meant we lost again I can't remember what the score was then that was on Sky was it not 2-0 Yes, I think it was. That's right. That was that was two nil. Uh, the yep, that was two nil. And then there was a two one in March twenty twenty one, when Holy dropped the ball and they scored uh, a really early goal. Stop me if you've seen this one before. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was the day that Cook was in the stands. He'd just signed for us that week, so he was watching, but wasn't um, manager at the time. Uh, and James Norwood. Scored from a head, uh, scored a header from a free kick, which was uh, so quite not good. Nice is what no, we're getting at. No, not exactly. Not, not and then good. of course October last year was diabolical as well. We'd we'd beaten Doncaster on the Tuesday beforehand. That was that six nil at home. Yeah. Yep. Um. So everybody was thinking, oh, it's Accrington away. It's going to be not a problem at all. And then we like we lost that two one. Macaulay Bond scored a goal just before half time, and I know it was just before half time because I was at the. <laughs> I was queuing for a drink at the bar and really regretted that one. Um, and that, having scored six goals on the Tuesday night, that was our only shot on goal for that whole of the first half, which is why I'd gone for a beer early. Um, and then, of course, we scored from the only chance we had. And uh, second half, we just fell apart. We were diabolical. So it doesn't um, it doesn't bode well for this weekend. <laughs> Out of falling apart <laughs> again. Uh, that, that, could be, that could be a song put in the jukebox. So, yeah, it's not boding well, but that's, that's the old Ipswich. This is the new Ipswich under a new era, a new regime. The game has changed, my friends. But the game hasn't changed that much. Previous players, set the challenge tonight. Set the bar, Amy. What am I getting? What's the target that we've got to get me in the chat? 
Okie dokie, so those of you who watch the show regularly know that I've um, come up with this game where I make a five-a-side team from players who have people who have played for both teams, both Ipswich and Accrington. Um, so today you have got a centre-back, a centre-mid mm -hmm. and an attacking mid and then two strikers. Okay, so the centre back. So defender, two midfielders, and two strikers. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are really good uh, at this. So, if you, I'm pretty sure you'll come up with more than I have. Um, I know there is more, but I stopped at five tonight because I was dealing with other things. <laughs> so we, uh, we will get our team. But the uh, the guys in the chat might might spot some more. So go on then. Two defenders, two midfielders, okay. uh, two right. uh, one defender, two midfielders, and two strikers. Help me out in the chat here. I'm going to go. Well, uh, the obvious one would be Janoi Danassian. So I haven't got him in my five, but yes, okay. I told you straight away that you... Okay. <laughs> Toto Enciala. That's the one. Yep. Boom. Right. Picked Off the up. mark. Okay. Um, Caden Jackson would be another obvious one for the striker. Yep. Got him. Boom. You know, I, you know I'm a bit of a fan of Caden, so he has we to go in there. We have seen the tweets. Um... <laughs> Love you. Um, oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for our previous coaching regime. Gary Roberts. Well done. Yep. And Francis Jeffers. Three for three at the minute. And Francis Jeffers. Well done. Yep, that was one of the other ones that I got. Amazing. Come on. Are you having <laughs> that? I've got a feeling, says Mark Stewart. Yes, I've got a feeling. I've got all the answers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Love it. There we go. Oh, I got a feeling is a great one for the football. I love that yeah. one. That's going in the jukebox tonight. I love it. Yep. Absolutely love it. Well done, Mark Stewart. Thank you for that suggestion. Definitely. So that's the pretty go. If you can add any more to that list, do let us know in the comments. Even if you're watching on Catch Up, let us know in the comments. If you're listening on an audio device, leave it in the re in the review section. And make sure it's five stars. Um, right. On to Wham. The Wham Stadium. The Wham it Bam. To, it has to be a Wham Thanks. song on there, surely. Well, yeah, we are going to do a Wham song each, I think, me and you. Yeah, our, our favourite Wham track, in addition to one other, I think. We're going to, you know, I think that's the way we've got to go tonight. We really Sounds have. Sounds good to me. Uh, help from the Beatles is what Colin Plummer has just added into the jukebox. <laughs> Love it. Because that's what they need, apparently, not us. Um, so, <laughs> the Wham, the Wham Stadium. The Wham Bam, thank you. Oh, no, wait, we've lost again, ma'am. Um, <laughs> they've knocked it down, and they and rebuilt it. Yeah, it's it does sound like they've had a load of work been going on, and I know that they were doing stuff right from when we first started going there. I know that they were adding stuff, and last year when we went, was it last year or the year before, the fan zone was basically a tent just outside the ground. But um, the lovely Liz Edwards has shared with me that she's checking out the new fan zone, which is apparently inside the ground and it overlooks the pitch. Right. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to going and giving that one. I mean, you know, what more could you want than a pint in front of the stunning Wham Stadium? That's going to be quite a sight to see. I'm sure we're all going to be overwhelmed by that one but yeah the uh the uh the fan zone sounds like it's worth a check and I do I do like them that first time that we went in the cup they had a deal on in the club house um in the club bar where if they won everybody got a free pint so we all went in for a pre free pint before we went home and Isn't we had a lovely pretty? chat with most of them They're, it is a really friendly place um but yeah as you can see that that on the right hand side there and um, that's the away stand, no roof at all. And the, nope. the there is a section for seated fans, which is on that big long one at the back. Um, so where's the fans going to be then? Uh, good question. I don't actually know. It doesn't look like there's a hell of a lot of ground around that stadium, but they've obviously so, be shaped it here potentially. Do you think? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. My guess would be there because that roof looks fairly new. Yeah. Um, but that's where the old one was when it was outside under tents. So I, that's what my guess would be is that it's there. Um, but yeah, I should have double checked that, shouldn't I? Because I don't know for definite. But no, but that you know, that, that's we'll, you'll find it out. Oh, Wally Road. It's Fish a hot bar. skip and a jump from the other than the from the pub next door as well. So that's pretty perfect. What are you doing, Wally Road Fish Bar? That actually, yeah. um, that has always got a massive queue every time I go. You Wally. Uh, a cake, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a gherkin, isn't it? 
Yeah, I've true. no idea. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Wally, for me, is a robot that is it? collects rubbish. <laughs> is it? You carry on talking. You carry on talking about the ground. I'll try and find where people can go and find the most obscure name. I'm trying to name. find that link I sent you because while I was on holiday, is I found a really based? fun. Oh, I know what it was. It was called Healthy Spice. Yes, that's that right. Hilarious. You did. I know you sent me that. You, <laughs> and sent you were me like, that. "What?" I was like, "What?" It's is... funny. Oh, forget the name. Oh, my cheesecake. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if that's anywhere near the walk to the ground. Oh, look at them. Oh, oh yes, we're definitely food, going there. We're porn, definitely going there. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, the, it's it's a it's a standard League One ground. I I did enjoy going there the first few times, so I know those of you who are who are going for the first times are going to enjoy it. Um, Colin says, I hope the marquee's still there. I think it's gone. I think it's a proper fan zone now. So you and I shall have to have our pre-match chat in the in the new one but uh it's it's a decent enough ground it it does the job it's when we went that first year in league one we were all about the league one tour weren't expecting to be there for long so i think it's the fact that we've had to go three more times since that's uh driving me a bit bonkers but um it's a short walk from train station it's got a pub right next to it it's as far as away days go it's pretty good <laughs> fair enough Parking. How do people park? Should they should so wish to to drive to Acklet and Stanley either day? Exactly. <laughs> that you cannot say Acklet and Stanley without saying that. Um, so parking, there's loads and loads around the ground. So if you go just below the stadium, um, I can't Livingston Road or something it looks like. Yeah, That's yeah, a really yeah. long one that bends at the end with loads of side roads. You'll easily find somewhere there. So are there all is... these housing estates, these aren't tickets, they aren't permits, no. they aren't lines, these are all roads you can you can park down. Yeah. The last time you were there, obviously, they may have changed. Yeah, I was going to say, last time, time I drove, uh, which wow, was a couple okay. of years ago. But um, in okay. fact, I'm sure Ant will correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, Same with these houses over here? Uh, I don't know. I went to the other one because <laughs> that Sugar's, was the easiest access to the stadium. Sugar Tart Cupcakery. Oh, I like that name. Sugar Tart Cupcakery. What a name. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm going have... to be eating a lot on Saturday, aren't I? Because I'm going to be wanting to get some selfies to send oh, you. <laughs> mate, park at this road here and get a Sugar Tart Cupcakery. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so loads of parking, actually, from the yeah. way there. That's pretty well well served for once. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's really, really easy around there. And um, the there is parking at the stadium as well. There's a fairly decent sized car park. So um, Craig's just asking about Blue Badge. I would imagine that's your, that's your just best bet. looking that up right now for you, Craig. Um, obviously, the Blue Badge scheme, you can park uh, on certain things that other people can't. I know that myself. I've, I've, I have one. Uh, but while Amy feels us in about the pubs around the ground i will do some digging for you uh yeah, to see be what thank you what, what is what if i can find that out so yeah like i say um fan zone is one i'm going to give a try for the first time tomorrow that's at the ground i'm really looking forward to that but the one that on the previous three visits has been the most busy with ipswich fans is the crown i had a lovely time there last year matt stannard was there um Good old Stephen Bleep was there. Uh, there was there was loads of people. I actually can't can't name everybody, but there was lots and lots of people. Big old talking town reunion there, which was really nice. Um, I so it. I do enjoy the Crown. It's got a nice outside area with a big screen, um, and it is literally you come out of the door and the stadium is there, like no further away than the end of my living room. So it's it's just really easy. Once you get there, it's fine. Um, on that road, as you are walking to that pub there's one called the grey horse which has sport on as well so that might be worth a try for the early kickoff there's one in the town center which i think is called the beehive or something like that it's bee something um that was sort of a bit more of a modern bar uh, which did the job had a pool table 
Um, and then we found one that we really liked, which was called the Nags Head. And my friend, it absolutely made his day because he um, started chatting to somebody who was called Albert. So he was going on and on about only fools and horses for the rest of the day. So uh, basically, Accrington has loads and loads of pubs, whether you're driving or whether, you, well, obviously, if you're driving, you won't want loads of pubs. Um, but if you're coming in by train like me, there's loads of places to go for a, for a couple couple of sups before the game. I want to get some pictures of the you and of you or anybody in the Nags Head. Get it to me. I love that. Absolutely. Um, just to answer the disabled parking question, there isn't anything clear as day on their website. What I found was that the car parking is available on the Farley's solicitor's stand following building developments at the club. We have 59 spaces available to pre-book on a seasonal, seasonal or match-by-match -match basis. The price per game is £5 at, or seasonal is 60 but obviously you'll want, you'll want price per game uh, to pre-book your space please call joe ashton and the number is in the chat please 01254 356 950 for those listening on on a, uh, an audio platform and from memory as i use my double, most blue badge every day you can park on single and double yellow lines for three hours uh so should you need to obviously find a find a single yellow or a double <laughs> yellow at uh up us two uh, should that should see you through depending on how quick, quickly you are able to move towards the stadium um that should see you through you're allowed three hours on a single one a double yellow from memory on how i use my blue badge um i hope that helped if it doesn't get in touch and we'll try and do a bit more a bit more for you um what we can do i don't know but we'll try and do a bit more for, for you we, we always try and do our best for the fans because it is a fan you platform can ask andy tomorrow I absolutely can ask Andy. Yeah, we'll come to that in just a second. First of all, train. You're, you're going to get the train, so no one else should get the train because it will be a rowdy affair. But <laughs> is that and a well served place for trains? It's really easy. It's about an hour from Leeds, and you can get to and from anywhere if you're going via Leeds. So um, I think a lot of uh, Ipswich fans are probably doing that. I believe that's probably the easiest route. So yeah, really, really easy, really quick. It'll be the old Northern Rail trains that are falling apart. Um, but I think it was Accrington last time. Yes, it was. I went with Vicky. You did, and the famous. And we... I wish I stayed in the bark and then a tequila because that game was shit. Yeah, Lion came out. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely uh, but yeah we we couldn't get we it, we got massively delayed coming home because on that line there is also Bolton Blackburn uh there's somebody else as well and oh Burnley Bolton Blackburn and Burnley and Burnley were playing Norwich so that was great fun with the Ipswich fans on the same day um so it it caused loads of problems getting back in again but hopefully it won't be the same issue again this weekend at least when at least we're not getting hit by a train strike this time i did have a minor panic when that happened but it's really easy and the walk uh from the station to the ground you come out if i remember right you turn left and you basically walk down a hill and eventually you get onto the main road that heads down to the ground 20 minutes i'd say okay not, not too bad then, is it? Maybe a couple of hours if you stop in at each pub. <laughs> it's a shame we've never done very well at this ground because from what I can tell, we're a pretty it's a pretty well 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 served um it ticks a lot of boxes for an away day, doesn't it? It's easy to get to. It's been really cheap, actually, on train as well. For, I know it won't be for the other Ipswich fans going because you're coming further than me, but that gap between Leeds and uh, Accrington's not too expensive it's it's got a, a, a terrace we like terraces don't we at away grounds it's got its own it. bar it's got a pub right near it parking smack um smack next to it it's yeah you're right it does tick a lot of boxes but unfortunately <laughs> it it's just not given us the results we need and I suppose I just feel like we have to your what you said earlier really resonated with me. We've got to put we've got a wrong we've got to right the past wrongs this yeah. weekend. And we've got to show this is a different Ipswich now. We have. Um my concern is that they're a lot more physical and a lot more maybe a bit like Burton. And I had I had my nerves about Burton as well. So um mm -hmm. but we came through that all right. So hopefully we will show everybody that we're in business. Absolutely. Fingers crossed. Andy Holt, we are sitting down with tomorrow. So if you are a TT fifth standard 
on Ko-Fi or a YouTube member and have access to the Discord, there is a tab in there titled, da, 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 very originally, Ask Andy Holt, where you can put a question in to ask Andy whatever you would like to ask him. I can't guarantee you it will be put forward to him for obvious reasons. Um, but if you want to ask him something, um, then then please please do feel free. That is obviously another perk for being a supporter of Talking Town, the media platform for fans by fans. Love it. It's going to be an interesting one, that one, because wow. I was saying to you before the show, it's funny because a couple of years ago, Ipswich fans couldn't speak highly enough of him. He was amazing. He, you know, he was what he'd done at the club was people really respected. And then it just, yeah. it's flipped, hasn't it? Which is understandable. It's just, so it'll be interesting to hear whether he's the person we, we thought we knew or whether actually he's perhaps changed a bit. He does seem a little bit bitter from what I've been reading. But well, we'll, 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 we'll put some questions. We will to see. Him. We'll have a chat. I always got on well with Andy. I think he's a, he's a, he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, but we shall, you know, we shall find out, I guess, uh, tomorrow. Absolutely. Two yeah, box still, time. And ben and I met him that time that we went into the bar and he was lovely. He was he sat and chatted with us for a bit. He was really nice. So he's it does surprise guy. me the backlash that he's getting. But then it, like, I get why they're. Well, he's, he's very staunch for his football club, isn't he? And, and, that's, yeah. and that's the right way to be. If it was, if, if we were an accurate fan, we would absolutely, I think, love him because he. He sticks up for for, for the club in, in all matters and all things. takes takes on the big boys, which yeah, is what we are. Which is what we are. And um, you know, I remember being a, a fan of us in the championship and saying it's not fair. These parachute payment clubs just coming down and going back yeah. up again. You know, very similar way of looking at it in the sense of money distribution. Just not an I follow money distribution. It's more of a you know they're going up, not really competing, coming down, pocketing the cash to go again. You know, it, yeah. it's very much still that parity, which is what he's talking about. So we, we've all been there. We've all been there. And uh, I look forward to sitting down with him, really. As you always um, say, all opinions are welcome, aren't they? And it's nice to discuss the different ones. So. Attack the opinion, not the person. So jukebox time. We have got ACDC, Shoot to Thrill from Ant Still. Help beat by the Beatles, Colin Plum. Uh, we have got Something Inside So Strong. From uh, Craig, was that Craig Priest or Mark Stewart? I can't remember which one gave me that one, but uh, Craig Priest gave me that one. Uh, we've got Happy by Pharrell, that's AD Crouch's suggestion, and I don't think I've seen one from Mark Stewart. So, Mark, if, if you did put one in, do drop it in the chat again. Right, two each, Amy. What are your two going in? First of all, the wham, what's your, what's your number one wham song to put into the jukebox? I think I'm going to go Club Tropicana. Club Tropicana the... drinks are free. <laughs> Given the uh, weather that we're likely to be facing. Um, and if they're still doing their deal, we'll probably lose. So we'll get free drinks in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, okay. I'm going to go. What's my favorite Wham song? Uh, I'm your man. I'm your man. Yeah, I like that one. Don't you know that? Yeah, so that, they're, they're the two going in. <laughs> Club Tropicana. That could be a wicked chant. We've that got to make that about McKenna, haven't we? <laughs> yes, like that, like that. Okay, and what's your other one then, Amy? What's what's your second entry into the jukebox this week? Oh, are we talking general football ones or are we talking for this weekend? For this weekend, whatever you want, whatever you want. General football, I feel like it would be There She Goes. Um, oh, okay. because it was one of the ones that me and my dad used to listen to on the way to every game, every home game when we were season ticket holders. It's okay. on the Fever Pitch soundtrack. And uh, that's pretty What's it called? Sorry, remind me. What's there she the... goes. Uh, ah, there she goes. That's it. You've really missed your calling in life, Martin. Hang on. No, you've, you've, you've already put that one in the jukebox, Amy. Oh, have I? Yeah. You put it in the first week. Oh, don't make me think of another one. What else is there? I'll tell you my one while you think of of, of another one. That's why I checked the name. I was thinking, I, I've, I've put that in already. Uh, ah. I'm going to go for Thanks for the Memories by Fallout Boy. Nice. Thanks for the Memories. Hopefully this is the last one we'll make together. <laughs> That's my entry. There we go. One night and one more song. Thanks for the memories. They, they, even though they weren't so good. Better. There you go. Right. 
I'm, I'm getting pumped for the way there. I love it. So the jukebox does to me. And your entry, Amy, your second entry. Um, why don't we go for Bad Habits? Uh, yeah, yeah Ed, Ed Sheeran. Sheeran I like it, we yeah. love that. And that yeah, was used that's... in the video for the shirt, wasn't it? So let's stick that in for this season, I think. And it's a, it's a favourite of mine. That's Ant Still. Um, he won't be signing up for our playlist now. <laughs> no, well, no, he, he'll, he's probably already there. But uh, yeah, that that'll be him skipping, skipping that one, won't it? Won't it? I make him honest. listen to it all the time. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> Poor old Ant. Poor I don't think Dan. I'll be getting any lifts home this season. <laughs> Oh, poor, I love Anne. I, I love Anne. I just, I just wish he liked Ed Sheeran. But hey, you know, we've all got. We've, <laughs> Trust we've me, all got. you won't persuade him. No, no. <laughs> he definitely I, he, believes. He's into his music in a big way. I really get yeah. that feeling from Anne. So if he says yeah. Ed Sheeran's not for him, then I'm, I'm not. He's, he's not for, he's not Absolutely. for moving. Absolutely, firmly that, respect it. Uh, David Pascoe, Wham song. All that she wants is more. I, fo- I follow revenue. I tell you what. I tell you what. That, Definitely needs to go. I tell you what, I'm putting that in. <laughs> I'm putting that in just for you. I'm putting that in. Uh, all it, is that all she, is that was that actually a wham song? All that she wants. I don't think is that. Yeah, no. That could be Ace of. I don't. I've not got wham on here. I'll have a look later. I'll have a look later. I'll see what I can find. Um, but there we go. Done. Amy, your show, your platform. You lead it out, my my, my lovely lady. Ah, uh, and I can use my 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 line today because hopefully i will be seeing lots of you on saturday please do come over and say hello if you see me um it often gets a bit overwhelming with how many people i get to see especially as it's my first away day back i'm going to get to see so everyone again um so do come over give me a hug um and i will chat i will look forward to chatting with you face to face um but if i don't see you through it week i'll see you for it window <laughs> i've not heard that a long time oh i do love it I've just got to play this for contractual reasons. Let me tell you. Didn't get any this week, but we fun. Forgot, didn't we? I didn't get a chance because of the window to make one. So just thought I just thought I'd, you know, slip it in there. Funky facts. Well, we did have, we'd have some facts, didn't we? What did I say? What did I think of it? Well, you had three facts. They weren't facts. <laughs> they were staunch opinions, Amy Downs. <laughs> they were certainly not facts. Um, I and... beg to differ. I bet nobody would tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean you're you're right. That just means you've got the populist opinion. I want, um, was it Mark who said it's the first time he's going? Yeah, bless him. Um, you'll have to tweet me um, after you've been and let me know if you're still excited about going to Accrington again in the future. <laughs> you will, you will. Uh, here we go, here we go. Uh, it'll be uh, Accrington shit, it's going to rain and we'll probably lose. They're Amy down is. three funky facts, but we are back next time with Love With Care. You make me